Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this Sunday morning. Let's have a look on the Bitcoin price. So in today's episode we're gonna have a look how we should be prepared for the next big move of Bitcoin because I still expect a big move to the downside coming up pretty soon but also I think we could see a little last leg up before this possible breakdown. So here in the one hour, you see that we had yesterday evening this little drop here with the bottom of 8,830 and then immediately we came back up and currently we are also trading above the 20 moving average in the one hour. So at the beginning, we had this drop here. I had a little short opened here on BTR, but I closed it already because I'm expecting right now to see a possible retest here of 9,000, even up here to $9,250 before a potential move to the downside. Also because we are trading on the weekend and on the weekend the CMEs are closed and we had a close here at 9,220. So wherever we're going to jump here to the upside or to the downside till Monday, we're gonna have a new CME future gap. But most of the times we are also just retracing back to those levels here before the CMEs are starting again. So I think we could see something similar also today that we will come back towards here the CME close and then from here start to trade again uh, at around $9,200. So let's go back to the Bitstamp chart now and we can see that currently in the one hour we are forming this potential falling wedge which could break out to the upside and the target would be also up here towards 9,250. The problem is that till then we could see the price coming down here towards $8,700 and also there is a possible hidden bearish divergence here in the one hour time frame because here you can see that the price was at 9340 when the RSI touched here the 50 level and currently we are touching again here the RSI in the 50 level but the price is lower so we have currently a lower high but the RSI is same so in order to have a hidden bearish divergence, we would need to see the RSI higher here. So it's not yet confirmed that this is a valid hidden bearish divergence, but I still think that we could be in here for another leg down towards 8,700, possibly also create another lower low, because before we had here 8,980 as a low, and yesterday evening we created a lower low. So this is bearish also for the longer term. So in case that we are not able to recover immediately back up towards 9,500 and higher, I think that we should be prepared here for the next big move to the downside towards our bearish targets. So what I'm considering right now is that in case that we're gonna see another leg up towards 9,500 or even towards 9,200, I maybe take a little bit more profits out just to buy some more cheaper Bitcoins in case that we're really starting to fall from here. Because it is very likely that we go at least down to test the 200 daily moving average. But therefore we're going to see the targets later on in the bigger time frames. Here in the one hour we have the stochastic overbought. We are right at the 15, the RSI. We are trading currently above the 20 moving average, but you see that we are touching here the resistance where also the 50 moving average is lining up. So I think we're gonna stay here for the next couple of hour and then have a possible breakout here to the downside. If we're gonna bounce again here, then we could see a potential breakout from this falling wedge and then test again this $9,200. But it is also possible that from here on, we're gonna have enough support to break out here to the upside and retest $9,200. So we can go now also over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour, because here you can see that currently we are trading again here in the upper area, which is in theory bullish. Also the MACD still shifted to the upside, but you can see here the top here is at $9,100. So we are very close to it. And also here the support is currently at $9,000. So in case that we are falling once more towards 9,000, we should then have a bounce back up here. And this is what I'm expecting in case of a breakout here to the downside to have a possible support somewhere down here between 9,000 even down here to $8,800 and then bounce back up and see a possible breakout to the upside and the target would be at around $9,200. This is where I think we will go most likely before Monday where also the CM is closed on Friday. 
So let's go over to the four hour time frame because also here you can see that the 20 moving average is perfectly lining up with our main resistance up here of this little falling wedge that we're forming currently. We have the stochastic shifted to the upside coming from oversold and also the RSI is coming from oversold condition. We still have some room left to go towards the 50 level. And as I told you, it looks like that we are definitely shifted to the downside and the 20 moving average is still holding as a resistance resistance so far i don't see why we should start to trade and test again nine thousand five hundred dollar again but we could see here a short term bounce to test again the new resistance before we continue to create lower lows so watch out for tomorrow because i think as soon as the markets are going to start again and especially if they continue to drop probably also bitcoin will have a possible retest here of the new resistance and then start to decline and possibly have this bigger dump that we are waiting now for many days because all in all currently we are trading with low volume and when we see a little spike in volume usually the price is pushing down and not up and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame here you can see that we're coming to the first middle line so we are having some problems here to break through so $9,100 currently is a resistance area the next target would be up here at $9,130 before we could in theory start to retest here the upper area of $9,300 which I think most likely will happen before we're gonna dump if we're going to dump and also the MACD could have here a possible bullish cross if we continue here to test the resistance Therefore, I'm watching out currently for another bounce to the upside to retest 9,200 to 9,300. That's why I closed also my short currently on BTR and I'm looking probably to take a little bit more profits out at those levels and maybe also look for a little short position because I'm more focusing in opening longs in case that we're really going to have this big dump that I'm expecting to come. And now we can go over to the daily time frame. Because here we can see where would be the targets in case of a bigger dump to the downside. Since we are trading now below the 50 in the RSI and below the 20 and 50 daily moving average, the target would be at least down here towards the 200 daily moving average. And if we don't have enough support there at $8,300, then watch out for the next fib lines which are down here at the 0.618 and also the 0.5 so first at 7200 where also in the past we had a lot of support and resistance before we had this nice run up towards ten thousand dollar so this is the place where i think it is good to start longing here so between the 200 daily and here the seven thousand two hundred dollar but since there is a very high chance that we will dump to those targets i think most likely bitcoin is also going to test this area down here at the 0.618 fib line which is at six thousand four hundred dollar if we bounce immediately back up from this fib line here i think this could be a very bullish sign because bitcoin likes to retrace back to this level create a bottom here and then bounce from it and those are my targets to start scaling in longs very heavy on Bybit and also put all the profits that I took out up here back into Bitcoin I don't think that we will go lower but at least this is my strategy to re-enter into the market in case that we're gonna dump from here and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that we're still trading here in the bottom area. MACD is also shifted to the downside. So we could in theory have a big bounce back up towards $9,300 to $9,400 to retest the middle line here and then have another leg down. Because currently we're still trading in the lower part and only if we're really able to break this $9,400, even better to break $9,500 and then start to create a support above this price level, then in theory we could be in a bullish trend again and a possible retest of $10,000 is very likely. But therefore we first have to break this $9,500 and also create a support above of it. And now let's go over to the weekly time frame because today we're going to close another weekly candle and it looks like it will be another red one. As long as we are closing candles above here the 20 and 50 weekly moving average which is currently at 8700 
we remain very bullish also the RSI is still above the 50 so in theory we are still on the way towards 10,000 and possibly also break it because here in the bigger picture it is still looking very bullish even though the stochastic is overbought now since many weeks so maybe if we're gonna have here a possible dump to retest these lows down here between 7200 even down here to 6400 we could take down the stochastic cool it off and then have the bounce from it and start again to retest the main resistance that is coming down here since 20,000 and 14,000 dollar you can also see here that the volume is still declining so for a real breakout we need also a big spike in volume like we had over here so this is what i'm waiting for currently and i still think that this possible inverse head and shoulders pattern here is still intact especially if we're coming down here with the price and then bounce immediately back up again only if we would take out these lows down here and also start to trade below the 200 weekly moving average then this pattern could be broken and then we have to see all also to possible create lower lows so even drop below three thousand eight hundred seventy dollars but so far there are no signs that such a thing could happen also because since we had the all-time high and the bottom here of three thousand dollar we are creating lower highs but also we are creating higher lows which all in all this pattern could end up in a continuation pattern of the bull run that Bitcoin is up since its creation. So don't forget, don't panic sell in case that we're really dropping down. If you want to take out some profits, then here between 9,000 to 10,000 is the perfect take profits area if you are in profits. And if you think that we will fall down, then watch out for these price levels down here to rebuy back into Bitcoin and start to scale in longs. Of course, if you think that we will start to drop from here, you can also already now open up shorts here over on Bybit or Bityard, for example. If you need an account, you find all the links that you need to sign up down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some bonuses and you support the channel. So if you need to create an account, you find all the links down below here. And currently we still have more longs than shorts. So that means if you're starting to short, you will get paid in funding rates every eight hours. You see that currently the shorts are starting to rise so it's just a matter of time until we're gonna see this flipped here especially if we go towards 8,000 and lower I want to see here more shorts than longs and when the sentiment is changing down to negative and we have way more shorts than longs then I think this is the right time to start to scale in big long positions and also if you just want to take out profits and don't trade the short you can just put your tether for example on Binance here they have a savings program where you can just park your tether as long as you're not buying back into Bitcoin and you will get for free interest so you can just keep it here on Binance put it in here in this flexible savings or also locked in for a week or two weeks for example and you will get this interest completely for free in tether and once the price is reaching again your targets you just take it out from this and buy back into Bitcoin you don't pay any fees nothing when you put it into savings or you withdraw it again from there so it's completely for free and while you're sitting in tether i think this is a very nice thing to do because while you're waiting to buy back into bitcoin you can easily also gain some tether here just leaving it here on binance and if you need a binance account you find also the sign up link down below here in the video description it helps the channel if you use my sign up link and with that you can easily gain some tether and buy even more bitcoins once the price is falling again so you can make also profits even without going long or short just taking out profits in tether and rebuy back in cheaper with even more tether so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and also shout out to all the discord members you're really the best my friends if you also want to join our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here is completely for free everyone is a welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so if you're interested in also watching the live streams you can follow me also over on twitch so thank you very much for watching and we see us all in the next one bye